my name is Ben Tui. I am a paleontologist at the Natural History Museum Luxembourg. I am very honoured to receive the FNR Award for Outstanding Scientific Publication for a research paper that challenges what we know about the evolution of starfish and their relatives, called echinoderms. The echinoderms were among the animal groups that suffered the most drastic losses during the most severe extinction of Earth's history that happened at the end of the Paleozoic era some 250 million years ago. The commonly accepted belief was that the five still living echinoderm classes, so the sea urchins, the starfish, the brittle stars, the sea cucumbers and the sea lilies, survived with only very few if not single representatives. It was believed that all the more primitive representatives of the uh, still living echinoderms went extinct at the end of the Paleozoic, together with all the other classes, like the blastoids for example. But then some new fossils were discovered, which prompted my co-authors and myself to reanalyze the echinoderm fossil record from the Triassic period, which follows the extinction at the end of the Permian. We looked at fossil material from around the world and gained some intriguing new insights. Some of our most revealing material was based on microscopic skeletal parts. These are easily overlooked and difficult to study and therefore often neglected by previous researchers. We discovered that some of the primitive representatives unexpectedly survived the extinction and then coexisted with the modern relatives for at least 20 million years following the extinction. Our results provide compelling evidence to overthrow a major paradigm of marine invertebrate evolution and therefore they challenge textbook knowledge. This did not go unnoticed in the scientific community, which is very nice to see, especially because we deal with an animal group for which interdisciplinary attention is much harder to get than for more charismatic groups, for example dinosaurs. The survival of primitive echinoderms into the Triassic implies that there are extinction refugia that are yet to be found. It also raises the question as to why the Paleozoic survivors remained fully diverse while their modern relatives had a major diversification. Either way, our discovery provides fundamental new insights into how animals die out and survive in times of mass extinction that go well beyond the studied group. Indeed, understanding mass extinctions is of a sad timeliness. We currently witness a loss of biodiversity that is comparable to that at the end of the Paleozoic. And finally, our study has put both the echinoderms and our research here in Luxembourg on the global scientific map.